All right, guys, today we have a product spotlight video and a public brand introduction video. As you can see behind me here, we're at SP. We're, we're actually standing in our fastener section. Clearly, fasteners we use to assemble all of our products and everything that we send out the door that has to be installed on something or together. Uh, something not a lot of you guys think about and we even forget about a lot of the time. Under the SPE branch, we have Ontorque as a brand. We started that brand in 2013. It was more of a custom fastener company. So we, we had a lot of private companies coming to us needing custom fasteners that were not available you know, to the public. We wanted to be able to have something for those people, you know, have something for those applications. They weren't large volume, they were very small volume oriented things, whether it was an engine specific bolt or a chassis bolt, whatever it may have been. We wanted to focus on delivering an awesome fastener with a good material. Uh, to that to the market, but we focus mostly on engine components being head studs main studs things of that nature Everything from anything being used in pulling drag racing, you know, whatever kind of racing you could think of We were making fasteners That was all low volume. We weren't selling to the public and it was very specific stuff So that was started in 2013. We did a lot of development on the material that we used obviously we took a lot of inspiration from other brands on the market and we developed our own material. Our SA4000 material ranges between 260 and 270,000 KSI tensile strength and we're very affordable. Original idea behind it was you could get a custom stud or a custom fastener that was affordable, you know, say for uh, someone running a pulling tractor or someone drag racing. They could afford to have something custom made it was lower volume oriented. So that's why it's not something you see a lot of on our site. You may see a couple things here and there, specifically the head studs for the 6.7 Power Stroke. That was something that when we, when we developed that stud, it wasn't even available from any other manufacturer on the market. We were one of the first ones to bring that stud out. That was the, the background of Ontorque as a brand, and we wanna do a lot more with it. So the whole point of this video today is we really wanted to move away from the private custom stuff that we're doing, not just move away from it entirely, but expand upon it. And we wanted to get fasteners out there that could be purchased you know, by the end user, the general public. We wanted to be able to put them on our site for sale, and we wanted to be able to offer this awesome technology we've spent the last 12, 13 years developing. We wanted to offer it to the public because we're very proud of it, and it works really well. So now that we've develop that and establish it, we're gonna start getting into a lot of application specific parts that we can run at volume. We've laid out a few examples here on the table. Once again, we're still gonna stick with mostly engine componentry, so head studs, main studs, things of that nature, uh, 12 point forged nuts, the washers. A lot of our studs are actually surface ground, so they're perfectly straight and we'll be sticking with the same material that we've developed over all this time. So one of the reasons we wanted to do this under the Ontorque brand is we're pushed by other manufacturers in our market because a lot of these companies do batch-based production. So let's say, let's just use this for an example. Let's say you have an LS engine. That manufacturer may be pumping out head studs for an LS engine because they tool up that whole factory and they'll run it for a month or two months and they'll just run that. And it makes sense because they're doing die-based stuff. It's old tech. They use a lot of old style machinery where you're not able to swap out dies and everything quickly. And it just doesn't make sense from a manufacturing standpoint. So that's an issue because if for two months you're running one specific style of fastener, the issue with that is say a warehouse distributor selling the crap out of, let's just say a coyote stud. 
Well, now the market dries up and all that manufacturer is doing is running one type of stud. So now you have a month to two months span where that faster is not even available. So hopefully some random guy selling it on eBay or whatever that may have just hoarded them. But as far as getting multiple amounts of, you know, one part number say, it becomes very difficult. So that's something that we take a different technology approach. We have different ways of going about it. So when we do application specific things, our main goal is to keep them in stock at all times. So whether you're getting it from directly from us or a distributor, we're always gonna have a nice quantity of that available. We're not shutting everything down to run one batch. We're making sure that everything stays in stock. And that was one of the big pushes that we had to move into the actual application specific purchasable end user product for the fasteners. So we're not abandoning the custom aspect of that stuff. We're not abandoning you know, the, the, the private aspect of it either, but we really wanna focus more on getting awesome products out that are really needed in the industry and are repeatable. So you know, that, that's the main focus on this. Now, on the flip side of that, Ontorque is a brand, it was a performance technology company that we started in 2013. I actually have, we'll throw down some old school pamphlets that we got here, uh, talking about some of the old Ontorque brand that we, we did for some of our customers. The cool thing about it is it was a performance technology company. So it was a, it was a company that was designed around giving the customer things that they really needed, which is a lot of what SPE does as well, which is why it functions similar. And we don't want to lose that. So we've done a lot of development with say blower technology and pulleys and other products that we've done as SPE. So we are going to offer things like say belts, serpentine belts, fittings, and other things that we've worked with on a day-to-day -day basis, anything that has to do with torque. And that's what we were shooting for when we started this business or this, this brand under SPE. So we're gonna to continue to do that. We're gonna grow the brand in that aspect because we really like supplying our customers with specific things that they need. And we really like standing behind our product and we're really passionate about that product. So it works out really well. The other thing we're gonna do as well with the Ontorque brand is uh, another specific YouTube channel so any product that we're either under development on or is application specific that needs talked about, we're gonna get that on that channel as well. Okay, so now that we have an understanding of the Ontorque brand in general, uh, I'm gonna do a quick product spotlight today on something that's very specific and it's application specific that we're gonna sell as a mass produced, you know, high volume product. And it is a six, seven base thing that hasn't been touched on in the industry and there's really nothing available for it. So um, let's talk about rockers. So we have a passenger side head here in front of us for a, a 11 to current 6.7 power stroke. And I'll show you the, the rocker assembly here. So if you don't already know, the rocker system on a 6.7 power stroke is very unique. It's a four rocker per cylinder push rod based setup. So you have four individual valves per cylinder, you have four individual rockers per cylinder, as well as four individual push rods. So there's a lot of stuff that you have to line up when putting these on. And one of the main issues with the rocker setups on these engines is say you're, say you're repairing an engine, you're swapping it out or you're putting new heads on or doing something like that where you're getting into the top end of these engines the easy thing to do is knock the rockers off real quick and swap them over to the next engine, right? Well, the factory hardware is torque sealed. So the factory bolts on these rockers are actually only supposed to be used one time. Torque sealed bolts stretch, and it's a lot of the reason why the aftermarket fastener industry even exists. So what we did is obviously came up with a better fastener, stronger fastener, with our material. And also, we're solving some issues all at the same time. We're making the fastener reusable, easy to install, and also making it easier to install the rocker itself. So, I'm gonna show you real quick here. 
we're gonna basically explain how this is put on. It's stupid simple. And you're lining up, which we don't have in this head, but you're gonna have obviously four valve springs, four valves, and then you're gonna have four push rods back here. When you go to put this on, you're trying to line up all of these things at once. So you're gonna be fighting getting these rockers to sit right on the push rod. You're gonna be fighting getting these tips to sit on the end of the valve perfectly to get this on there. So for instance, depending on where the cylinder's at, whether it's at bottom dead or top dead center, you may have an intake push rod all the way up because of where it's at in the cam lobe, which is gonna shove these rockers down while the other ones may need to go up because it's on, you know, say a intake strip. So you're gonna be dropping it on there like this, really fighting how those line up. So we wanted to help with that. Obviously going to a stud system is gonna make that easier. So if you remove the bolts and go to drop this on, all you're worried about is lining up the holes in the actual rocker mount. So that makes it a lot simpler to get on. You're able to actually float above everything and get it started. And then you drop it on and if you need to move it around a little bit, you're already located. You're actually on the dowel of the push rod frame, or the, I'm sorry, the rocker frame. So it makes it a lot easier to install. It's stronger. Everything fits really nice. These actually are centerless ground. So they're perfectly true and straight. And there's actually a hex drive on the end of the, the stud itself so that you can either put them in finger, finger tight or by hand or with a socket. Uh, I personally recommend threading that in by hand, but it also makes it nice if you do need to change a head and you already have a stud installed, you can zip them out quicker. It's just very convenient. So another cool thing to touch on that we do with the rocker stud kit is every one of these rocker assemblies on these trucks has one pre made bolt that has a, a stud sticking out of it and that stud will go in and a oil rail will go down on top of the stud that has a built-in basically like a cage nut built into the the oil rail so you'll have to be able to run that down so you can't really just replace the factory bolts with say a regular say a regular allen bolt or something like that because you're not going to have the stud sticking out of it so what we do with these is we make them long enough that after you torque down the rocker and go to put go to put the actual stud in and torque everything, you have enough sticking up above the nut itself to actually thread down the cage nut to the oil rail. So all the lengths are pre-thought out. Everything fits really well. We've had these operating in trucks making 2000 horsepower. So, and, and our dragster and a bunch of other racers that actually run them as well. So that will be a really cool product that's gonna be available on the website here shortly. And it's also a really specific application to give you an idea of what Ontorque's about and some of the stuff we like to do. So the other cool thing that we've always done being that we did a lot of private and custom private and custom work um, once we have everything running good with the on torque stuff you're going to be able to go in and give suggestions or still get custom studs made so if you need something very specific along that line we're going to make a website that's easily usable and works really well as far as getting custom stuff made so we're still sticking with the the original form of the business and what we wanted to do with that brand but we're elaborating on it quite a bit so if you like these videos and you want us to get into more stuff that we're doing as far as videos go with the Ontorque brand let us know if, if it seems like something that you guys really want to know we're going to start doing a lot more videos sooner uh, we are going to do a channel specifically for Ontorque and if we have an application specific thing that really works towards the SPE brand, whether it's six, seven, you know, coyote based stuff like that. Uh, obviously we'll probably have some crossover in that channel as well. So if you want more information on this stuff, we'd be more than happy to talk to you about it. Email us, comment, 
And as always, like, subscribe, and stay tuned, and we'll catch you on the next one.